Transportation. Police Ortiz standing by with your Hollywood headlines. Hey, who? Hey, good morning. Superheroes ruled the box office this weekend, but it was Wonder Woman who made history. Whoop, whoop. Right now. What are you? You will soon find out. I need to see this movie. The action flick burst into the theaters with a massive $100.5 million opening. That gave Jaredi Patty Jenkins the best debut ever for a female director. But Jenkins says she might not have taken the job without Gal Gadot, who had already been cast in the lead role. It would have been a totally different story, and I don't know that I would have wanted to do the movie if it was with a lead Wonder Woman who I didn't believe in. Not only do I believe in her, she's she blows me away. I can't believe that they found someone so Wonder Woman and wonderful. Um, so, yes, it made it much easier to have the, the greatest Wonder Woman in the world put in the palm of my hand. So awesome. Rounding out the top three box office wins this weekend. Captain Underpants came in at number two, and Pirates Dead Men Tell No Tales took third. It didn't take long for the Boss Baby to close the door on a sequel. Deadline reports that Boss Baby 2 is already in the works. Alec Baldwin, who voiced the title character in the first film, will reprise his role in the sequel. But so far, no word on what adventures the Boss Baby may go on this time around. The animated flick was a box office hit when it was released back in March, but you're going to have to wait for the sequel. It won't crawl into theaters until March 26th of 2021. Oh, good grief. <laughs> You're going to have to wait a while. It's going to be a toddler by then. Yeah, right? <laughs> Game of Thrones fans, brace yourselves. The final season of the show may get a massive delay. In an interview with the Entertainment Weekly, an HBO executive suggested the season eight may not air until, are you ready for this? 2019. Oh, dang. Holy moly. Apparently, it is because the staff needs more time to figure out the production schedule. Game of Thrones is no stranger to delays. The upcoming season seven was delayed so production could get colder weather to film it. The good news? It sounds like the delay will be worth it, with insiders saying the final season will, quote, break boundaries. Hmm. That's a bold statement. <laughs> better be good. Better be good. Raven Simone is back, and it is the future her son can see. It's my twin sister. It's me. My mom, mom's best friend. Where's my kiss? Her kid make good choices. <laughs> Our neighbor. Fill so it up, kids. And then there are my psychic visions. Oh boy! Okay, I love it already. Disney releasing the first trailer for its That's So Raven spin-off series called Raven's Home. As you can see, Raven is all grown up with a child of her own. Things get a little hectic in the household when Raven's son starts to inherit his mom's psychic tendencies. Raven's Home will debut late. July on the Disney Channel. I love Raven Simone. She's so great. Right? So great. And there you go. Back over to you. Oh, that's good stuff. Thanks, Sue. All right, we'll give your